Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel and um, I had some technical difficulties with doing this live so I'm just going to pretend like I'm doing it live, how about that? So uh, anyway, I'm Jody Cordell, the savvy agent here in uh, Crestview, Florida with Spence Properties and today what I want to do is um, address a question that I've seen a lot of people out there um, asking and a lot of people are very concerned and rightly so. I mean, COVID has really kind of kicked us all in the teeth this year. And, you know, it, it's kind of just leaving a lot of room for just instability and insecurity about, you know, how to continue to move forward. So the question that I want to answer today is, will there be a real estate market crash in 2020 or in 2021 because of COVID? Um, and I just want to, I want to start by reading something that popped up actually in my um, Morning Brew news brief this morning in my email. Uh, if you don't read Morning Brew, you definitely should because it's really cool. Um, but I read this at the top of the news brief this morning. It said, housing, single family home building hit its highest level since 2007 in September, cementing the housing market as the MVP of the economic recovery. So a lot of people have asked if now is a good time to buy or sell because of the current crisis that we're in, obviously. But the truth is the housing market ha hasn't even, it's been holding pretty dang steady the entire time. And I, I think, I think that uh, the, the real estate market, the, the state that it's in, is going to kind of keep moving our economy forward and kind of help us rebound and recover from this recession created by COVID in 2020. So it, as we go into 2021, uh, I think that it's actually kind of coming into a boom as a matter of fact. And I think there's actually a few different reasons for this. Um, number one, people still have to move. It doesn't, there's nothing that you can do about that. You can't get around it. Housing is one of those things that, you know, when you need to move, you just need it. So as long as people uh, still need to move for whatever reason, um, we're going to continue to see uh, an increase and, and a stability, a steadiness in the real estate market. Uh, another thing is we, <laughs> housing shortage. We have had a housing shortage since um, long before COVID was ever a thing. Uh, it's, been, it's been a big factor for probably about the past year and a half now. Uh, the, the, in fact, I think that the, the, um, the statement in the news brief that I got today about home building hitting its you know huge boom for this year is because we do have a housing shortage. Um, home building boost is specifically trying to meet the demand that uh, has been created because of this housing shortage. So basically what that means is we're in a huge seller's market. There's a lot of people who wanna buy and not enough homes for all those people who are looking to buy. So the home building sector has been trying to step up, but they're digging themselves out of a hole at this point. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for them to even catch up to the demand. And it's just, it's gonna take some time. Um, high demand, uh, well, another thing that uh, is kind of driving this whole thing, uh, because of COVID and the tanking economy, the interest rates right now for buying a home are at an all time low. Like we haven't seen rates this low in years, y'all years years so and this is actually good for refinancing too so but for and and the reason that they did the the low interest rates right now is to encourage people to kind of continue moving forward because they recognize how important real estate is to the actual economy so if they can entice those who can to buy now if they're sitting on the fence these rates right now are so freaking good that it'd be silly to not take advantage of them right now. So if you are someone who's been thinking about buying and weren't sure if you wanted to do it during the pandemic, well, it's a golden opportunity to get get in while the getting's still good. Um, and one thing, if you are a seller, this is going to affect you um, directly. The high demand for homes is actually driving up home prices. So, um, Again, this is definitely a seller's market. So if you've been kind of on the fence about whether you should sell your home or or not, well, you couldn't ask for any better circumstances than right now because your home value has gone up exponentially in the past couple of years. So with the encouraging interest rates to encourage people to buy, 
the housing shortage and the prices going up on the homes if you're trying if you're thinking about selling your home for whatever reason now's a great time to jump in and do that because I mean you're just not going to get a better opportunity I don't think I mean it's just a weird situation that we're all in because of this pandemic and again this is a hundred once in a hundred years kind of situation that we're that we're facing so with all the things that have been put into place to kind of help move the economy along uh, it's it's a good time for you to jump in and just take advantage of the things that are that are there available and of course they are there to encourage people to to continue to move forward and that's not a bad thing it's actually a pretty good thing so is now a good time to buy or sell real estate actually it really does depend um, so if, if COVID has got you considering selling your home, the guidelines that are put into place right now to, are completely, are allowing this, you know, or are allowing sellers to completely control how their home is marketed to their community. So we have some new technology that uh, we can put into place. We can do video, obviously. We could do a 3D dollhouse thing. I, I call it the dollhouse. Um, I think some other people do too, but uh, it makes the house it's a 3D cutout. It's really cool, and it looks like a dollhouse, and you can zoom into any room you want to in the home. Um, we can also do virtual tours, and we can also do virtual open houses. All of these things have really come into play a lot because of COVID, but now that the cat's out of the bag, it's not going back in. You know that, right? So now that we have all these really cool tools, um, they're going to be here for the long haul. So that's a really cool thing for you as a seller. If you don't want people in your home, um, if you don't want buyers in your home, I should say, then we could put all these other things into place and limit how many people are coming into your home. The way I actually do it for my home buyers, just so you know, I actually go in and I shoot video for them. I can actually do a live video with them on the phone with me. Uh, I can do a regular walkthrough video. Most of them are pretty cool with just doing that. I can even do a 360 degree angle one. So I can go into each room and then they have the ability to kind of move the either their phone or the screen they can move the screen around and see every corner of every room which people like that they can do that so I think that that works out really well um, and again it just depends like some of the homes that they might want me to go check out may already have a really cool 3d video so I may not do that um, most of them are pretty cool with just doing a walkthrough video but I could do the other things if they feel like they need more information so um, that's I mean, and again, that's kind of really been emphasized quite a bit this year because of COVID, but now that we've been doing it, we won't have to go back to doing it the other way so much. So now for my seller clients, what I usually do is I pre-shoot for professional photography, obviously. I do regular videos and I do 360 videos for my clients. And then I create a website with all of those options available for any buyer. So it makes it easier when an agent contacts me and says, I have a buyer interested. I send them to the website and say, check out all the things here. And um, that makes it easier for the agent. And that way when the buyer actually, you know, and sees all the things that are available on the website, they may be more inclined to not come visit the house or, you know, maybe they want to put in an offer first and then come see the house. And we could do all of those kinds of things. So, um, and that's the other beautiful thing for my seller clients is what I can do is I can say, look, we're not having people in the house unless they either A, make an offer and it's accepted by the seller, or B, they have to be pre-qualified for the home before you even let them in. And we could totally do all of those things. And the funny thing is we could do that before. <laughs> But because of COVID, now it's a thing. So uh, and it's become less of a fringe thing and more of a mainstream thing. That's what I'm saying. Plus, uh, as a representative for, or as a, uh, when I represent my sellers, I always, always, well, since COVID, um, put out gloves, face masks, hand sanitizer, sanitizing wipes for everyone who does come into your home. And if you're okay with having the buyers actually walk through your house, they can have those access to those things as well. So it makes it easier. So in answer to the question, are we going to have a crash? I don't see that happening because we've pivoted and we've changed the way we do our business to accommodate people because they still had to move. I, I mean, I was kind of freaked out by COVID and I kind of wanted to take a step back, but I couldn't. 
there were too many people that really needed my assistance to move and to find a house or to list their house. So I've done so much real estate just over the summer that it's telling me that it's, it's not stopping. So, and that's, that's great. I think it's going to be fantastic for helping our economy recover and helping us to continue to move forward. So, um, absolutely not. I do not believe that we are looking for any kind of a real estate crash or even a slowdown, to be honest. I'm, I'm not kidding through the end of the year when November and December should be our slow times of the year because of everything getting kind of backed up in March and April, we are seeing lots and lots of closings go through to the end of the year. So um, if you're concerned about whether or not now is a good time to buy or sell real estate, this is a great time to buy your first home because interest rates are so low. This is a great time to upsize or downsize. Um, this is also a great time to get into investment properties because those are gonna go like crazy and there's some really great pricing on some of those right now that it just makes it so attractive. If you've ever thought about getting into real estate uh, for investment purposes, now is a great time to do it because you will never see these rates again. Well, at least not for a really long time unless something else crazy tragic happens. So if you are thinking about moving to the Emerald Coast, I would love to help you. I have a little um, something to share with you. Uh, I have a relocation guide that's totally free. All you have to do is click the link in the description underneath this video and it'll take you right over to that and you can download that so you'll have some information about the Emerald Coast. If you are thinking about selling your home, I have something for you as well. I have this really great guide that I put together called Seven Tips to a Fast Sale and it's going to kind of help guide you through like things that you might want to consider doing and things that you probably shouldn't consider doing because they cost too much and so it'll save you a lot of time stress and even money so you can grab your copy of that right down in the description underneath this video as well so um, I hope that helps kind of alleviate some of the stress and anxiety that a lot of people are feeling right now because of the COVID situation it doesn't seem to be slowing down or letting up but so far, it looks like real estate's gonna kinda help us through this. So as long as people continue to need to move, there's gonna have to be people that need to sell and, and real estate's just gonna keep moving forward. So keep that in mind. If you're sitting on the fence, um, just know that there's still demand and it's really actually, real estate's still going really strong right now. So it's a great time to look at what your options are. And if you do have questions that you wanna share with me, you can either drop them down in the comments below or you can reach out to me directly. I'm gonna put all of my information to contact me underneath this video as well down in the description. So you can email me, text me, call me, I'm good with all of them, so just reach out to me with any of those types of questions. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Jody Cordell with Spence Properties here in Crestview, Florida, and I will see you on the next video.